Scene 10, take two, sound 30. This is the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki, Finland. This stadium was originally built in 1952 for the Olympics. It's being used today by the secondary schools of Helsinki for a big track and field day. And the boys down, down below on the track are getting on their starting chocks for the start of a 400 meter relay race. Each boy will run 100 meters, a total of about a quarter of a mile. And they're off. 12 years ago, there was a different kind of excitement on this track as the very finest track and field talent from all over the world were here at the Olympics in Finland. Many Americans among them. Of course, the great name of Pavo Nurmi means so much to these youngsters here in Finland. He was the prototype of the great long distance runner, the early great miler. And these boys who are coming down the track right now are in effect running in his footsteps. When the stadium was built uh, for the 1952 Olympics, a stone was taken out of the original Olympic area in Greece and embedded in the concrete wall. And right next to it is a stone from the Roman Forum. In another part of the stadium wall is a marble plaque in which are carved the names of the winners of the various events of the 52 Olympics. And if you look down on the earlier shorter races, you see a many American names in the decathlon, and the swimming, the diving, and so on. When you get to the longer distances, that's when you begin to see the name Suomi, Finland. And the tradition here is that it's the 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000 meter runs that are these uh, Finnish runners excel in. Of course, in the Winter Olympics, it's skiing and ski jumping. The children in the stands, very much like you at home, uh, rooting for their high schools, having a wonderful day in this very warm sunshine, drinking soda pop. Uh, uh, what have you, can you, can I see you for a minute? What are you, what are you selling? What is this? What is it? Oh, an orange drink? Still some trip, yes, how much? Sixty? Would you hold this for a minute? Right. Uh, 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, right? Yes. Is that all right? All right, thank you very much. You have a straw? Yes. Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's a young lady, too. Uh, would you move over here? I want to show, show them what you have clutched in your arms here. Um, what's your name? Pirja. Pirja. It's marvelous. Uh, no, no plug here, but this is Bernstein plays Brubeck plays Bernstein. Typical Finnish folk music that you would find in any home here. Um, I know, I know Dave Brubeck. Yes, would you? Uh, we like very much Brubeck here. Yes. And we want to see. Want we should. We should like to. Uh, see him here. You want him to come well, over here in yes, person? Yes, yes. Well, well, if I see him, what shall I tell him? Uh, well, <laughs> this this came so soon that, but, um, uh, would you tell him that we all like Dave Brubeck here so much? I will tell Dave Brubeck that you like him so much. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll you. tell Dexter Gordon and Sonny Clark and, Butch and the whole group down there at the Blue Note that you like him. You like jazz, huh? Yes. Yes, me good. Too. Okay. Thank you. Um, some youngsters hitting here with uh, with radios, uh, uh, transistor radios they've come with. There's peanuts you can buy, soft drink soda pop that you know. Although there's one right at the end of the. Uh, here he comes right down there. So uh, if you don't want orange drink, you can have another. 
Uh, uh, well, I guess I won't have time to drink that. I gotta buy another drink. Well, I'll buy another drink. Uh, uh, yes, I got mine. Would you step down here, sir? How much is that? Seven pennies. Seventy pennies? Seven, yes. Seventy. Say, that's very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, can I have the Coke? Oh, you're going to open the Coke. You can never leave home, can you? Uh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're ready for another relay race down here. Let's sit and, and uh, see how these boys do. You're starting to look kind of small. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay. Thirty-one. That's it, huh? That's it. There it is. The Tower of Stadium. Looks very Olympic big. Stadium. It's the best place to see the city, though. Of course, of course. You know, there are. It's only 73 meters high, and you can walk. You can go upstairs. You mean walk? Walk it? Walk up. Seven, 73 meters. That's not. Uh, well, that's not 73 that much. times three. That's over 220 feet. That's a lot. Oh, that's not that much, and you see so much. Yes. Oh, how God, how are you? Good. How are you going to go up? Um. Uh, well. I might try the elevator. You're going to take the elevator and I'm going to walk up. That's fair. All right. Charlie? Scene 11, take 2, sound 32. <laughs> and now, this is the big new hospital. It's tremendous. There are a lot of hospitals in your city. I there are many. Yeah. This is the newest one. It's not completed yet. What's the area we're looking at out there with all those lakes or, and trees? Well, this is called Tele, and back there you see um, many other places. There are Tapiola and Lauttasaari, and uh, also you see Otaniemi. Now, there's an odd-looking shaped uh, concrete object over there on the horizon. What is that? That's the Lauttasaari uh, water tower. Oh, just a water tower? Just a water tower. Which is very impressive for a water tower, I must say. What's the body of water around there? Um, that's the Bay of Finland. Bay of Finland. As a matter of fact, well, you'll see a lot of water wherever you look from up here because uh, uh, Helsinki is built on kind of an isthmus, and there's water on three sides of it. Yes. Which presents some problems. Mm -hmm. in terms of uh, where do you grow when you're a city over over 500,000 people. Scene 11, take three, sound 33. Now from there on we begin kind of a harbor area, is that right? That's right, it starts there and go, goes all around the town. Is that still a Bay of Finland we're looking at? <clears throat> yes. Down below right there, is that, that's kind of a sports arena, is that right? Uh, oh, yes. And uh, also you can see the uh, whole exhibit hall. Yes. Now the exhibit hall is where we, I think we saw the last show of the circus uh, parrot, huh? Right. Yes, it's quite a large hall. The uh, railroad yards are right there. I imagine that um, 
train travel carries a lot of people in and out of Finland every day for work, or in and out of Helsinki. Do they, a lot of people take the trains to work? Mm, yeah, well, trains and buses, yes. both sides. And beyond the, there, uh, way toward the back, is the very famous um, railroad station. Yes. You know who? Ilyo Saarinen. Yes. Father Vero Saarinen. And it was about, what, 1908, I think. 1908. That, and it was, uh, in those days, it must have been quite a striking and modern, uh, quite a, a striking and modern departure to, uh, because even today it looks contemporary. It is very nice, beautiful design. And to the left, you see the cathedral of Helsinki. Yes, that dome, uh, that dome sits very high. It's on a hill, and it's, uh, it kind of dominates the whole downtown area of Helsinki. Also, off to the left of that, you can probably just barely make out the, uh, what is that now? Which church? Uh, that is the uh, Uspensky church. That is a Gre Greek Orthodox church. Now, that island beyond that, what do you call that? Mm, oh, there is an old fortress of Suomenlinna. And also, you can see the island where the zoo is. Oh, we, I will, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, no, you it. can't see it yet. No, it, it's coming. The, um, do people go off to that island on, on those excursion boats? Yes. I think that you have, you saw the little children going. Yeah, that's where they're going, out mm -hmm. to the island. Can I picnic out there? Yes, uh -huh. I can do that. There's, there are lots to see. Now, what is that waterway? Uh, is it just something that goes out to the sea? This is a Tölö Bay. And more homes and offices in that area, more of the harbor. Um, and down now, is that the island with the zoo? Oh, yes, that's the island where the zoo is. Korkeasari, it is called. We lost you on that one. No, not the big one out there, this one here. Extreme left. <laughs> Rolling. Scene 11, take 4, sound 34. When the sun comes out, uh, people uh, like to use every nook and cranny to find it, don't they? <laughs> of course, because we only have three months summer, and this is a very typical site. People rush out and, and they want to get a, a good, wonderful tan. Now, off in the distance there uh, are some more buildings and uh, more of the water that surrounds Helsinki. Is that partly offices and partly apartments out there? Yes, they are apartment houses. And this is another part of the town. And you see, they are quite new. Some of them are quite new. Uh, in, the, in the background, you can again see the zoo, the island where the zoo is. And way out there is... Um, what's that water way out in the distance? It's also the Bay of Finland. Right. Now, these uh, rocks over here lead us up to uh, Linenmaki, right? Mm-hmm. And, and that's the big amusement park. We're going to visit that. I understand it's great fun. Well, I hope so. <laughs> well, it is fun, we'll of course. Open. And that big round edifice, that's a um, water tower. That's a water tower. And I can see the scenic <laughs> railway in the background. And of course, it's not open yet, so we don't see the, the wheels going around. Oh, down here you can see uh, the botanical garden. All that glass. Yes. Can you walk through there? You can walk through there and, and see many flowers that don't grow outside. Something that the Americans have, we don't have. We have uh, to grow them in the greenhouse. Because the season is too short and the winter is too cold. Yes.
No. That is your, a very large pool. Is that also built for the Olympics? That was no, that was not. It existed before, ah. but it was used during the Olympics. Let me, we're going to keep rolling, but we got bad. Uh, you move the mic, and you got the radio again. So the mic, right? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go from the beginning. We're still rolling. Let's go from the beginning, right? Okay. Am I okay on sound now? Sound right now. No, someone must have stand in front of the car on the map. Well, look, let's not roll and waste it all the time. What are we do it or not? Okay, okay. All right, check it. Is no, no. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Go ahead. Am I okay now? Okay. What are we looking at? The people on the rocks again? Okay. Oh, down there you see people lying and, and getting a good suntan, and that's a very typical sight because we only have three months of summer. You have to get your sun. Everywhere. Well, you got a lot of time during the day around here to get it, too. That sun is a long time in setting. Now, beyond there is, um, well, that's the island with the zoo on it, is that right? Or the, the area with the zoo on it, just uh, beyond the water? In the, the background, water. Yes. yes. And then, what are those, apartment houses and offices? Yes, the big houses, both ends. They're building quite a few new houses around Do there. most people live in apartment houses in Helsinki? Mm -hmm. It's very rare to have a own house here in Helsinki, but then when you go to the countryside. Do the children have their own bedrooms, or do they double up if there are more than one? Uh, well, it d depends on the size of the family also, and, but they share. Right. Now, uh, that uh, that must be an amusement park over there. Oh, this is Lina again. I what does that mean in, in English? Uh, that's a castle on a rock. Castle on a rock? Mm -hmm. Or the rock of a castle. <laughs> uh, the castle rock or whatever. But anyway, it's Linen Maki, and that's where everybody goes to have a good time. All the children go. This is Finland's uh, Disneyland. And there is also a water tower, and in front of the Linen Maki, you see the botanical gardens. That's where... Can you walk through there? Yes, of course you can. And you can see many, many flowers that grow in the States, but not here in Finland. And the swimming pool, was that used in the Olympics? Yes, it was used during the Olympics. It existed before, but then... Um, it is it open to the public and the children use it? It is. It is open. And uh, now you see there are two pools, and the other one is filled up and the other one is empty, but I hope that when we get there, you go and see it. It will be in a good condition. And beyond that, some more apartments, some of them new, some of them not. Uh, and way in the distance, uh, is that part of Helsinki, way, way out there? Well, it is a new housing area, a very modern one. The town is growing very quickly. What's the population now? Right now? Well, at the, uh, not at this point. Around moment, five... <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, of Helsinki. Yeah. It's about 500,000 people. Ah, it's What they call the world's smallest metropolis. I think it's only... Uh, it's, it's a marvelous city. Right. Mm. Scene 11, take 5, sound 35. Well, I, uh, I made it. Oh, hello. You must have done the record of the stadium tower. Well, uh, I have a confession to make. I got up a little uh, way, and I decided I, I would take the elevator. Oh, what a lovely view. Though. Well, it's nice to have you here. <laughs> anyway, here it is, and now you have the view. You see, there is the new hospital, um, the university hospital growing up. Go home. Well, take two, sound 37. Give me a name once again. The last name.
How long is the car on him? How do you do? How do you do? Welcome. I think your son wants the ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Um, you don't have all... These are not all your children. No, no, no. Only two. Two. Uh, which, which ones are yours? Yes. Yes, yes. These two. Ah. Yes. All right. Well, now... He, he, is, he is Marco and, and he's Mika. Ah. Mika? All right. Go ahead. He can keep playing. Marco, you keep playing. Uh, come over here with me, sir. How old is uh, Mika? <coughs> He's six years old. Uh -huh. What's he playing here, golf? Uh, small, small golf. Small golf, yeah. miniature golf. Go ahead, let's see him play. Let's see if he can get a hole in one. Hey, I'm going to get one. Oh, you got a little bug there. A huh? little red bug. That won't be in the way of your ball. Let's see you get a hole in one. It's, it's kind of an obstacle because you've got to go up here, down here, and into here, right? Up. Nope. Didn't quite make it. It's kind of a homemade golf course. Come on, try one more time, Mika. Come on. Almost, almost. Okay, over here we have a, I guess this is a pedal car, huh? Pushes the pedals and it goes. Looks like a sports car. Yeah, that's right, there's a pedal car. That's one of his friends, huh? Yes. Now, what's the game that the boys are playing here? It is tamburello. Tamburello? Tamburello? Sounds beautiful. Can uh, we play it? Yes. yes okay. All right. Here, yeah. you take it. Please. Hey, that's a tambourine. Looks like a tambourine. Sounds like a tambourine. But uh, they play this on the beach, huh? Yes. Oops. Any hunter. Well, I, I don't want to show off yet. Bravo, huh? Very fine. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Such excitement. Once more. Okay. We should where'd it go? Hey fellas! Here, I'm turning my tambourine in. Oh, I think I've worked up enough of an appetite now. Shall we go upstairs? Enough. enough. Yes, enough. Okay, I agree with you. Okay, how do we go? Up here? Here? Thank you. See you later, Oh, this is lovely. This is what you call the atrium? Yes. And um, I understand that you've built the house like on three sides of it, is that right? Yes. Over there is what, your living room? Mm -hmm. Dining room? Yes. We've got the kitchen over there. And over here, what do you have here, the bedroom? Bedroom, yes. Mm. And then downstairs there's more space. Yes. Well, this, must, this is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Flowers. Bamboo, huh? Yes. And pine tree. Now, what's this? This is a pool for fishes. Pool for fishes. Oh, yes, here they are. Well, these are not goldfish or ornamental fish. No, no. Typical Finnish fishes. What do you do with them when it's, uh, you know, when it's cold or anything? Do, do you take them in for the winter? What do you do yeah. with them? Uh, yes, we eat. Oh, you eat the fishes? Yes, yes. Oh, you, you um... 
In other words, you get them live, keep them here until it's time to eat them. Can we look at one of these? Y yes, yes. Mika. <coughs> the fishes are uh, Mika's friends. Oh. Mika, well. go ahead. Go ahead, stand in here. I don't know what it's like to eat one of your friends, but, uh, Mika? Come on over here, Mika. Yeah, yeah that's it. There we go. There we go. Bring it over here, Mika. No, bring it here. There we go. What, 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 what kind of fish is that, do you know? Uh, it's me. Mm, he doesn't know. Hmm? Okay, <laughs> you can put him back in. There he goes. Get, me, get another fish here. Can you get one more fish? Get the flat fish, the, uh, the one in the middle. That's the one <laughs> he's gonna, he's, he may fall on the rock there, huh? watch out. <laughs> Bring it here. For, uh, this looks like a, what we would call a flounder or a, a, a fluke, flounder. It's very flat, huh? No, see it, see how long do you keep them before you eat them? A week, two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps one month. Oh, that yeah. long, huh? You feed them, and then you... Ah, very good. Okay, goodbye. We have, we have been two months. Uh, These uh, fish have been here yeah, two months? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you, Mika. Rakitos. Now, this is a kind of a... a, a a country home and a city home, right? Together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's, here's your wife. Hello. How do you do, Mrs. Welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for letting us come into your home. Good mm -hmm. to see you. And so we have a crayfish party for you. Oh, yes, I heard about that. Crayfish is the big thing here for the, just, what, about two months, huh? And then they come and then they go. Yeah. Yeah. And I understand that you have to really learn to eat crayfish. You've got to... Will your son teach me to eat crayfish? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. he will? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Now, shall we look at the rest of the house then? Mm -hmm. Yes. You're, all right, fine. We'll meet you here for the crayfish party. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I think I'll start getting sick tonight. Turn on your water. Why? Why? <laughs> Come on, Micah. <laughs> Mika's up there, hitting, hitting the window. Uh, oh, tell me about this room now. This room um, can be changed for play, for sleeping, for nightclub. Ah, and I get the idea. This is for games. Yes, this is what we would call a recreation room or a game room or a family room. And um, the bunks that can be made up or they can be turned on end yes. to support a, a ping pong table in this case. Uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, did your son play ping pong? Yes. Hey, Mika. Hey, Marco. Marco. Tell us a little bit months. Oh! Pooh. <coughs> Here, I'll, I'll play. I'll play. Yes, I'll challenge him. Here, you hold my microphone and I'll hold it. Are you ready? Let's see how good the things play. Thank you. Kitos. He can go back to his guitar if he wants. What else do you have on this level? We have here 
baseball, sauna, and, and uh, swimming pool. Good. Now, did, did we get too close on that one? Five, sound 40. Okay, you're very good enough. What uh, what else do you have on this um, on this level? You have sauna and swimming pool. Your own sauna. Yes. And a swimming pool. Yeah. Got to see this. Thank you. There's a swimming pool right here, long, thin one. Um, and you use this in connection with the sound. Yes. Finish the sound and then go in for the plunge yes. here. Very nice, very nice. Um, I understand that you've got Marco all ready to go. Yes. Quickest change artist in the world. You, you gonna put him through his paces here? Marco. Right? Hey, go ahead. How about that, huh? All right, we really change him here. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to time him. You said you were going to time him. Yes, yes, I can. See how fast he goes. All right. Five for then. Follow me. So in addition to using it for the sauna, you just have fun with it here as a swimming pool, as anybody would use a swimming pool. Where's the sauna? Right around the corner? Yes. Uh-huh. And, and you have your... How many times a week do you take a sauna? About three times. Children in, also? In the reef. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I notice there's a... The doorway from here leads right out into your garden. In the winter, do you ever go right out from the hot sauna into the snow? Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Yes, oh, very yes. often. And you live, you survive, you don't die. Well, <laughs> I would love to do it, of course, except it's in the middle of the summer, and so we just don't have any snow. Thank goodness. Well, this is all very nice. This is Now, most houses, though they may not have a swimming pool, actually do have saunas, is that right? Mm -hmm. Not, not usually. No, but homes, private homes. Mm -hmm. Yes. By the sea, things of that sort. Yeah. But everybody, whether they have one on their home or not, takes a sauna like once a week, is that right? In Finland? Yes. Every, all the people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Once. At least once a week. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a great institution. And if you have your own swimming pool, it's even lovely. Yeah. Where shall I sit? Huh? Where shall I sit? Here? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Can I help? Oh, yes. Thank you. Ah. Well, got to wear a bib here. Huh? Uh -huh. A little like lobsters, then. Huh? Crayfish on it. Do you like crayfish? Yes. Yes? yes. Uh, now. Mika, what do we do first? Got the hands. 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 Got the h
And you fit it? it over the cloth. Oh, well, first you take the clothes off, huh? Oh, and you take it off. Yeah, and you, well, what, you, you click it off. Now what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it. Suck it in. That's like seawater, isn't it? You're getting more out of yours than I'm getting out of mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's next? Oh, you're not finished yet. It's got to be That's too hard to my other floor. Get even. I think I've got the whole Bay of Finland right now. <laughs> All right, now what? No. Boy, he gets more out of one little uh, crayfish than almost anybody. Take off the tail, huh? You thought you'd do it for him. Now watch. Huh? Yeah. All right, take off the tail. Yeah. And then you take this, the body and stuff. Mm -hmm. That sound you hear is not wind whistling through the microphone, that's us. <laughs> <coughs> take the knife. Huh? Cut it open? No. No, I missed that one. Huh? <laughs> well, that's not so nice, so, mate. <laughs> no. Oh, I see. I see. I see. No, sieltä otetaan peräsuoli pois. Mitä? Täältä sisältä. Mitä se on? This bad. Oh, that part is bad, so we take that part off. Okay. There. Now you can eat that part, huh? Ai, Nämä pannaan voileille, ne juu. En mä työnnä. En mä voileille. No, 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 no. Oh, you can put it on the bread, too. Oh, that's for your dough, huh? Mm. Mä juotavaa. Äiti on taa. Listen, while we're eating, let me ask you a couple of questions. Äiti on taa isille. Um, now, Marco goes to school. Yes. What year did he just finish? What grade did he just finish? What? Äiti on taa isille. Just oh, in the secondary school, he's in the first grade. Yes. He's all, that's the, that would be our fifth year. Four years and then the first year. Uh, does he know what he wants to be when he grows up? Marco? Okay. Wow. For what? A pilot. Perhaps. <laughs> Not an architect like that. Pilot. Right. What about what about uh, Mika? What what does he want to be? Captain? Captain? In, in what? In the, in the boat? Ship. Yes. Oh, a ship's captain. Very good. Very good. He's, has he been on a on a boat? Do the boys, uh, do the boys get an allowance? Yes. yes. How much of an allowance? <coughs> one, one mark in a week. And one two, mark? Two marks. And two marks. Yeah. So that's about 15.